13 uh, itong uh, highway na to is uh, highway 608 uh, we just came from Red Deer so now we are approaching uh, highway 13 uh, where uh, we will continue uh, to, uh, to reach uh, Hardesty So, kung mapapansin nyo, maraming mga acreages and farms dito sa amin. So, um, mas marami pa yata yung mga acreages outside of the town itself kesa dun sa population ng town. Our town is, uh, the population is around uh, close to 500. Not many people actually. Um, may, uh, meron kaming siguro mga uh, six Filipino families na naninirahan sa Hardesty which is uh, actually a uh, considerable per percentage of the population so yeah we used to have a school kaya lang uh, dahil sa uh, konti ng population uh, sinarado yung school and now my kids has to uh, ride the bus to uh, the next town, uh, Irma, uh, where they uh, where there's a school uh, that caters to uh, uh, from kindergarten to uh, grade 12. So, so now we are uh, in the outskirts of Hardesty uh, that belongs to. Uh, Flagstaff County. So yeah, and if, if you're not familiar with the place, uh, Hardesty, uh, let me just give you a background. Hardesty is home to uh, North America or Canada's uh, biggest crude oil terminal. So, uh, merong merong imbakan ng uh, crude oil dito sa Hardesty. Uh, Marami, maraming mga ano dito mga mga crude oil tanks sa Hardest, Hardesty Terminal so uh, I work uh, with one of the companies that provide tankage um, sa sa mga crude oil and uh, most of the crude oils that uh, get shipped to Hardesty uh, get shipped to uh, the US for uh, processing so they refine sila. Um, they go through refineries in the US as far as uh, Gulf Coast. So yeah. So we do have a lake. Actually we do we have two lakes in our town. Uh, one is uh, Fish Lake, which actually has fish, and the other one is um, it's called the uh, Hardesty Lake. Uh wala siyang, wala siyang isda, pero uh, maraming mga tao ang nagka-camping dun sa dun sa tabi ng lake and uh, it is actually a very, very famous uh, destination for camping uh, kasi maganda yung campground no, and uh, my house is uh, like uh, 10 minutes or maybe not 10 minutes maybe 5 to 7 minutes walk from the lake so yeah well, whenever I feel bored I just my wife and I just walk to the lake so if you can see uh, in the background there's a lot of uh, uh, tanks uh, crude oil tanks uh, that is the hardest terminal and uh, yeah dyan, dyan nakastore yung mga oil na nanggagaling sa uh, Fort McMurray kung saan saan na uh, Merong mga uh, oil extraction operations, no? and now we are approaching uh, the little town or the small town of Hardesty, Alberta, where we uh, have decided to call our home for um, ten years now. So, yeah. So, uh, sana ay follow, follow nyo itong vlog ko 
uh, para magkaroon ka ng idea uh, on what it's like to live in small towns so actually it's very quiet very peaceful um, mababait yung mga tao actually um, the, most of them are um, Canadians the Caucasians and they are very kind so lahat kami dito makakakilala um, and mostly the towns uh, the lifeblood of the town is uh, through volunteers uh, the mayor, the council are volunteers, the firefighters are volunteers, even the the, the libraries that uh, uh, service the town is made up of uh, volunteers so yeah and yung um, small town um, a population of uh, around close to 500 so there is a, um, a curling rink and uh, that's the the leaf that's the one of the famous restaurants here in Hardesty um, there's a hockey rink and then a, a curling rink yeah so now we're uh, we're entering the, the town of Hardesty you can see uh, to your right is our community hall Pinadaos yung mga Christmas parties and all meetings. Yeah. And we will be turning left and uh, yeah, we'll be. church this is actually main street I'm pretty empty right now it's winter so yeah so this road leads to the lake maybe one of my vlogs I will show you home.